role model. But I want to talk about why bullying happens a little more and what the key dynamic is. This social ladder, this is the major dynamic that allows bullying to happen. Let's talk about what that is. It happens, and let me tell you how I learned about this. First of all, when I, one, of my, one of the nice parts of my job is I'm going to get hired by schools. I go into schools and I get to watch kids the first day of school, so I can just observe them. And I do that also at camp at times. And what you notice is that when kids get together for the first time, something interesting happens. In the first five to ten minutes of camp, camp, even campers coming into your bunk, let's talk about that. What do they try to do? What are they looking to do? What's that? A group. A group. Try to find a group, right? Establish, Establish a hierarchy. What do you mean by that? I mean who's going to be the leader, who are going to get followers, who's popular, who's... Yeah. Right. Who the leaders are, who's popular, who's going to follow whom. The thing is that campers, in the first hour, try to establish those hierarchies, but it happens immediately. So what kids do, and I've observed this in schools and camps, any time you put a new group of kids together, is that they divide themselves into groups, okay? It's not conscious, but they look for the, they divide themselves into who's popular, which is 10 to 15% of kids, who's in the middle, which is about, you know, 75% of kids, and then who's on the bottom, which is the other 15% of kids. What is the goal of kids trying to find in groups? It's to avoid being on the bottom. Why does no one want to be on the bottom? Because it's, it's what? You're going to get picked on. It's the ugly place to be. And the problem with this issue, social, social laddering, is that it happens because as humans, we are all like world born with survival instincts, right? This is a, bullying, in a sense, is a survival instinct kind of issue. No one wants to be on the bottom where they're targeted, okay? So kids can actually act in ways that are really not nice to avoid being on the bottom, even if they may be nice inside. So if you're in the top group or the middle, you're protected. The bottom group is an unprotected group. The crazy thing about this is, if you put together, for example, 10 popular girls who have never been together, and they've never been anything but on the top pyramid, top part of that pyramid, what do you think happens in the first five minutes with them? The same thing happens. They divide themselves into popular, middle, and bottom. And popular kids who have been on the bottom and never been there before, they just go crazy to try to get other kids to, to replace and move up the ladder. 